everyone, this is Yasuko and it's time for Massage Monday. This week I'm going to show you how to massage your swollen legs using lymphatic drainage techniques and acupressure points. This will be a nice treat for your tired legs at the end of the long day. Caution! If you have a blood clot, also known as deep vein thrombosis or DVT, or severe swelling such as lymphedema, do not do this. First, let's get the lymph going. As you can see, there are clusters of lymph nodes in the groin area and the back of the knee. Lie on your back with your knees bent and lightly caress the inguinal nodes from the hip bone along the bikini lines. Now lightly caress up the popliteal nodes in the back of the knee on both sides. With your palms, lightly caress your leg from the ankle all the way to the groin several times. Then put your hands on the calf from the top and the bottom so that your thumbs are on the inside. Caress the leg upward with some strength in your thumbs several times. Cup the calf muscles from underneath and caress up to the back of the knee several times. Then caress up the thigh muscles from the knee to the groin. If you want to reduce the swelling faster, let the gravity help you by raising your legs. Now I'm going to show three acupressure points that are effective for tired swollen legs. The first one is called Kidney 1 and it's located on the sole of your foot in the center at the edge of the ball of foot where the color changes. The direct translation of this point is bubbling springs and it helps to revive the energy. Press with overlap thumb. The second one is not part of the major meridians. It's called lost sleep and it's used for insomnia, but it's also effective in controlling the water retention and elimination. To be more exact, it's where the lines cross between the second and third toe to the heel and between the ankle bones. You can press it with a hook thumb on the opposite side, but since the heel is hard, it's much easier to step on the golf ball. The third one is called urinary bladder 57 and it's located where the calf muscle turns into the Achilles tendon in the back. Press this point with overlapped thumbs from underneath like this or from the inside. If you have long fingernails, hook your other fingers on the shin bone and press the pad of your overlapped thumb. Once you know the location, you can rest it on your knee. This point is on the bladder meridian and it helps with water elimination and detox. Repeat on the other side. Taking a bath or even just a foot bath before the routine is a big plus because it improves circulation and relaxes muscles. And foot bath by itself is so relaxing anyways. I have some foot bath recipes right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week. Feel free to comment below and please don't forget to subscribe.